Pickles happens to be in her nest box and I'm peeking in there and I can see there's something in there. I think she laid eggs. Let's check it out. And I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's been about 20 years since I've had a clutch of green tree pythons. Let's hope things look good in here. I can't tell. She's definitely nested up. Look at her right there. She is not happy at all. Look at her. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm going to do. Whoa. Come on, girl. Nope. Don't, 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 don't. I'm trying to get him just to see if I've got some eggs here to see what's going on. Oh, see if we can get her off her eggs. Oh, see what's going on. Oh, no. This is not good at all. Oh, this is such a bummer. Pickles, what did you do, girl? I'm going to go ahead and get her back up in here. Put her up here for now. Don't bite me, girl. And sure enough, look at this. This is an absolute disaster. I'll just go ahead and remove this nest box right here. Oh, she's striking at me. She is not happy. She's like, don't you take my eggs away from me. But the truth is, the eggs are no good. This is all what they call slugs or infertile eggs. Darn. I was so excited about this. This is such a heartbreaking moment for me, guys. I had been thinking about having green tree pythons. Again, hadn't bred them in about 20 years. And to get a clutch was going to be so amazing. To get to this point where you're actually getting eggs, is the hard part. So normally the eggs are fertile. Oh my gosh, what a bummer. She's still an absolutely beautiful animal and I love her to death, but look at her. She is fired up. We're just going to have to feed her back up and try again next year, but look at we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fertile eggs. That would have been nine beautiful babies if they were fertile. Ah, what can you do, guys? That's part of breeding snakes. This is definitely a huge disappointment. Well, we never want to put the eggs to waste, so Bruce is actually going to feed them off to some monitors. Thankfully, the green tree pythons weren't the only eggs of the day. This actual house snake here laid a clutch too. This beauty here is actually a hypo house snake that is het for T positive albino. So we could get like some sun glow basically stuff, you know, T positive sun glow. Let's see if she has good eggs. I tell you what, guys, I need some good eggs because I am definitely bumming after that green tree python clutch. Okay, we definitely have some slugs in here, but mainly good eggs. We have a couple little bad eggs here. I'm just gonna get these eggs off here, but the other eggs look really good here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside here. Looks like we have one more good egg here, which is good. And then one little slug. So we did have three little sluggers here. Two, four, six, eight good eggs. I tell you what, guys, I needed that after today. I had been so excited about pickles. And for her to lay slugs was really deflating to me. So at least I got some good eggs here from the house snake. These guys should hatch pretty quick in about 50 days. Now that we're done with collecting eggs, I actually have my friend Drew Binsky in the house. What's up, guys? How many countries are there in the world? 197. How many have you been to? I've been to 197, Brian. That's right. So have you ever held a snake? I have a few times. Most recently in Benin in West Africa. You guys know all about West Africa. That's where ball pythons are from. Well, I'm going to put Drew to the test and we're going to see what he can tell us about the countries that my animals are from. Let's do it. Okay, this is a Dumeril's boa from Madagascar. Holy crap. Madagascar is a beautiful country. Antananarivo, the capital. I went up to a nosy bee, which is a... Am I going to get bit right now? No, you're not. And okay. nosy bee, we actually have nosy bee panther chameleon. We're meeting for the first time, but it's cool because I'm naming places and he knows them from animals. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I know them just from traveling and meeting people. Oh, uh, he's squeezing pretty tight around my Neck, man. This is a frilled dragon from Indonesia. Indonesia, wow, I've spent three months in that country. The Jakarta, the crazy bustling capital. You got Bali, you got Lombok Island. My favorite island is Sumba Island. Have you ever heard of that one? I haven't heard of Sumba, but I've been to Lubambaju, nice. uh, part of the Flores Islands, yeah. and I've been to Bali, and I've been to Jakarta, and all over the place. So it's a beautiful country, huh? Yeah, I love Indonesia and the Philippines, which is nearby, which is where my wife's from. Gotta love Southeast Asia, man. Leopard geckos from India. It's a whole continent, really, but my favorite part of India is the northwestern region region called Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. Have you been up there? I have not. India is fantastic. I highly recommend people to go there. There's a lot of things to do and see. Like this guy. This guy is from Argentina. So what is this thing? This is actually a tegu. It's actually the largest lizard in all of South America. Holy crap. He's a friendly guy? Oh my gosh. He's super friendly. He loves people. You have Cordoba. You have Buenos Aires. Those are the only two places I've been. They have some of the tallest mountains in South America and uh, the friendliest people. What's that giant mountain range? So it's called Patagonia. You can go skiing, snowboarding, hiking. Really good for outdoor sports. <laughs> Me and my buddy, we drove actually about five hours to go get some pizza and of course ice cream. We got flat tire and got stranded there for three days. Neil, the reticulated python. Now these guys do come from Indonesia, but they also come from the Philippines. The Philippines. Man, I spent two years of my life in the Philippines. My three favorite islands are Sikihor, Romblon, and Bahal. Make sure you go to those three islands. Manila, you can probably do without it. I've never seen these in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, that, these would be rare in the extra wild, but these snakes Look do come that. from the Philippines. Absolutely that. amazing. This is Gene, the 
the Woma Python from one of my favorite countries, Australia. Of course you love Australia for the wildlife. The big cities of Sydney, Melbourne, you go down to Tasmania, which is beautiful, and I actually went skydiving for the first time in Melbourne. Oh my god, that's cool. Are you even skydiving? I, I did. You seem like an extreme sports kind of yeah, guy. I, I'm, I'm more like an extreme animal kind of guy. What's your favorite part of Australia? Probably Darwin. Darwin. I've yeah. never been there. Oh, it's beautiful. Northern Territory, amazing. Although I do love Alice Springs and Uluru as well. When I was traveling in UK with my sister, she booked us a 4 a.m. flight back home. Of course, we missed the connection in London. So we were in a London airport, drinking beers, eating conveyor belt sushi for six hours. Who's even up at 4 a.m.? They had to pound the door, waking me up. Conveyor belt sushi, not good for the tummy. It's farting on the whole plane back home. It was like 12 hours. Feel bad for the old lady next to me. So we have a ball python. These guys come from West Africa, Togo, Ghana, and Benin. When I was in Benin, there's a thing called the Python Temple. In the religion of voodooism, they worship pythons. And when you walk into this, this room, hundreds of pythons just coiled up on the floor. You have to take off your shoes, you walk in barefoot, and it's just the most spiritual, interesting place. You gotta check it out in Benin. I'm, I'm on my way, I'm booking a ticket now. <laughs> First up, Beetlejuice. You wanna try it, bud? He's like a cat. He's exactly like a cat, I'm telling you. Don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> Yummy, yum, yum. yummy, 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 I got bugs in my tummy. That's enough for Beetlejuice, so let's move on to Toothless. Solomon Island Prehensile Tail Skinks. In the Pacific, you have many different island chains. Solomon Island is one archipelago, but the capital of Honiara is the only place I went. It was actually lovely, very nice people, good food, and it was kind of the gateway for more travels around the Pacific. Brits is a white-throated monitor from South Africa. Oh, South Africa, I mean, you got Durban. It's one of the best Indian foods in, in all of Africa. Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Kruger National Park, where I did my first safari. Kruger is amazing. I remember following that safari. It looked amazing. Oh, man. That Back in 2016. Yeah, the You've been following for a while, man. I've been following for years, respect, brother. Respect. Real years. So we have a mandarin rat snake and a hundred flower rat snake, and these are both from China. I was just talking about going back to China in the central and western part, but I've only been in the big cities, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou. It's cool, man. I lived in Korea for two years, and then, you know, I love East Asia and the cuisine, and I love feeling lost in translation. I think oh it's a God. beautiful thing. When you're in China, you definitely feel lost, except Shanghai. Man, this is a cool colored snake. Look at this guy. Isn't Yellow it, and black. Isn't it beautiful? Man. One of the most beautiful beautiful snakes I think in the world. I'm pretty stunned right now. Yeah. Tiger Lily, the Brazilian rainbow boa. Oh, Brazil. I actually went to the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro in 2016. There's a place called Florianopolis, which is my favorite part of the country down in the Southeast, but I've never been to the Amazon in Brazil. Have you? No, I can't believe it. I gotta get to the Amazon, man. And look at this guy. He's really cool. I think we should go to the Amazon together. I what think, do you think? You know what? That'd be a really cool trip. Oh my God. Let's it's... do it. One time I actually went to Las Vegas. I ended up getting in a wreck and there was this big SUV and it pulled out and actually blocked out two lanes for us. The SUV pulls up and rolls down the window. Y'all okay? And I go, oh my God, it's Cat Williams. Cat Williams. So Drew doesn't Cat like tarantulas, so I'm going to be holding this one. But this, is, this is actually a <laughs> uh, rose hair tarantula from Chile. Also, you have Patagonia region. You have the desert in the Atacan Desert in the north, and Santiago is beautiful, and there's a town called Valparaiso, which is my favorite. Also, in the south, Punta Arenas, which is on Cape Horn. It's the southernmost part of South America. I took a cruise through there. Amazing. And is that where you launch to go to Antarctica? Yes, you can launch from Punta Arenas. Side note here, guys. I will never take a boat to Antarctica, but you've done it a couple times, Why? Right? Because the Drake Passage? The Drake Passage. See, he will, I won't hold the tarantula and he won't go across the Drake Passage. The <laughs> roughest seas in the world. By the way, I'm going to put all the links in the description to all his stuff, so nice, go show bro. him some love, man. Appreciate it, man. Da -da -da -da. Superman. Good job, buddy. You're so, you're, you're so fast the ball fell off. You go with Bingo, bud. All right, day four. Nothing goes to waste around here, and it's awesome to see a lot of our animals are able to actually benefit, even when it's something like this. Something that we really don't want to happen. I would much rather have fertile eggs instead of having to feed these, these infertile ones off to these guys. But that being said, never have to really worry about like ever having to throw any of them away, and that does feel a little good in that sense. Here, you get the last one, but all for you. Good job, buddy. Flad is a legless lizard. This is actually not a snake. It's actually a legless lizard. Really? These guys can come from all over Eastern Europe, including into Russia. Oh, Russia, yeah. So luckily I left a week before the invasion of Ukraine. So I was in Siberia. So I was in the world's coldest city called Yakutsk. It was minus 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And I actually got detained on the border of North Korea and Russia because I tried to get into North Korea and they didn't accept me. Don't worry, Flad's <laughs> not gonna hurt you. Yeah, he's like snapping around. <laughs> he gets detained in Russia, but he's afraid of the legless lizards. <laughs> so this is Wanda 
Uh, this is a leaf-tailed gecko from Madagascar. Look at how he just grips onto my hand. Isn't it's it so, wild? It's so delicate and soft. Madagascar is just completely full of jungle and wildlife. A couple million people out there, but it's just a huge island off the southeastern coast of Africa in a place that I want to go back. Went to Mexico. We went to Cozumel, Mexico. Now, many people have been there. They know there's like touristy area and a not touristy area. Well, I decided to go to the not touristy area and I got lost. And it was really, really scary. It was really frightening, but my dad ended up finding me and I got out of there. It was no problem. This is actually a milk frog from Suriname. Paramaribo is the capital. It's a Dutch-speaking country in South America. Actually, I went on a four-day anaconda experience. Didn't see any anacondas, but I went down to the Amazon and it's just a beautiful country. So, Drew, do me a favor. Can I stick your head all the way in the cage and take a whip? Kind of smells like maple syrup, yeah, right? It does smell like maple syrup. And this guy's name is Waffles. Let's take him out. I guess that makes sense. And of course, these guys are from Tanzania. It looks like a dinosaur. Isn't he crazy? So Tanzania is great. You have Zanzibar, a beautiful island. You have Dar es Salaam, and you have the Serengeti. I always say that Africa is so underrated. There's so many places to go, and Tanzania is a great beginner country if you've never been to Africa. This is a little tiny snake for you. This is actually a Mexican black king snake. Oh, Mexico. Very underrated country. My favorite part of Mexico is Oaxaca and Chiapas, the two southern States. A lot of culture, a lot of great food, and, and really nice people. This is actually a mangrove snake called a multi-sincta, and it's actually from Thailand. Bangkok, you have the islands, which I really recommend, Koh Tao and Koh Samui. In the north, there's a town called Pai, which is on the border of Myanmar. It's just so rural up in the mountains up there. I could talk about Thailand all day long. I spent a year there. Bangkok's a great city. It's a great place to go if you're a budget traveler. Great food, great nightlife. It's all in Bangkok, man. And speaking of budgets, you used to do, and you still do from time to time, these $10 a day yeah. videos which I think are really cool. So how is that when you go into a country and you're literally only gonna spend $10 for an entire day? It's really fun. I mean, everyone knows what $10 is. And so to see how many different things you can buy, it's always a journey and it's a great way to show off the culture and the food and the people. Yeah, I've done 55 episodes of those. Oh my God, 55 days, $10 a day. That's a challenge to you guys. This is Matilda, the giant tortoise from Aldelbar Island in the Seychelles Islands. Seychelles is like your ultimate vacation, honeymoon, getaway spot. I mean, pristine beaches. It's very expensive, but it's like the Maldives you can pay all in resort and you know it's one of those places that's like a bucket list item for, for many people. Interesting. I didn't even know that. This is actually an Argus monitor. Now they can come from Australia but they also are known to be in New Guinea. They're hissing. Yes. Papua New Guinea is the most diverse country in, per capita in terms of languages. There's like 800 different dialects in Papua New Guinea. Port Moresby is the capital city. I recommend to get out of there, road trip, and you can see some really, really interesting things. Like this guy. This, of course, is Cupcake, the boa constrictor from Colombia. Colombia, man. Cartagena is a beautiful city on the northern coast. You have Bogota, you have Medellin, you have Cali. Holy crap. That thing just got close to my face. Highly recommend Colombia. Great country. You see how I start fumbling on my words when I have a big, heavy snake around my neck. But man, this is thing of beauty. Beauty. Okay, Burmese pythons. Of course, this is my girl Sunrise. She's got some weight, huh? I like the name Sunrise. I love how all the names of your reptiles are just so indicative of who they are and what they look like. We put a lot into it. I, but I can see that. But we, these guys actually come from Vietnam. Vietnam, another country that I lived in. Hanoi in the north. You also have Saigon in the south. Ha Long Bay, which is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It's also one of the most affordable countries in the world. You can get a whole bowl of pho for a dollar on the street. A dollar on yeah. the street. Now, these guys also do come from what used to be called Burma. Present day is called Myanmar. The most spectacular place in Myanmar is called Bagan. There's 10,000 ancient Buddhist temples that are just like dotting the skyline. Uh, it's They're from the 10th century and you can just climb on top of them and just walk around and it's just such a cool place, man. Look at those eyes. This is actually a New Caledonian giant gecko called a Lichianus. The eyes are like purple and they're beautiful. Aren't they amazing? New Caledonia is actually not a country. It's a territory. It's actually owned by France. So it's not part of the UN's 197 and I have not been there yet. I've been to France. So I've been to New Caledonia apparently. It's not the same. It's not the same, oh, like you know, darn it. it's a different landscape, it's a different culture. The UK and France and Spain, they own a lot of other countries. Yeah. You gotta actually go there yourself and feel it and, and see these things. You can't find this in France. No, you can't find that in <laughs> France. And I definitely will go to New Caledonia sometime. Closest I've been is flying over when you go to Australia. Yeah, you fly over New Caledonia, and I'm always like, you always know you're getting close to Australia when you hit New Caledonia. Hey, Brian, we gotta take you on a trip, man. We gotta do something together. Where's the one place you honestly, would take me? Honestly, you've taken me a little bit out of my comfort zone today with those snakes and stuff, so I want to take you out of your comfort zone. Oh, I'm gosh. thinking Central or West Africa or North Africa, like Libya, Algeria. Oh, no, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone. My one buddy got locked in the movie theater in our house. It was fantastic.